Wame and her pack revel in the glory of another successful hunt. Their home now teems with Wame's happy, healthy pups. But there's trouble afoot. Big trouble. Giants in search of water, heading straight towards their den. Wame knows what happens to pups who get under these feet. Giants are unstoppable. The pups escape by the skin of their tiny teeth but there's little left of their precious den. With their home destroyed and hyena still circling, Wame must face reality. Pups should stay in the den a few more weeks. But it's no longer safe. their sanctuary behind and faces the drought head on. They are thirsty nomads once more. And the precious pups now face every danger. The great herds gather like flies across the northern floodplains. The sight makes Sebe hungrier by the minute. It should be easy, but she's hunting alone. The odds are against her. With no partner, she only has one shot. says pigs don't fly. A 
Sepe wishes her sister was here to help. But the devoted siblings had to go their separate ways. Sacrificing their unity for the safety of the cubs they were carrying. For Sebe, it's all been worth it. Two boys and a girl. The start of a new pride. Replacing the family Sebe lost. And the beginning of a new dynasty. Just arrived, the cub's father here to protect them. Sebi admires his dedication, but can't help wondering how long it will last. Forced from her forest home by a mother with cubs. She feels lost and all too alone. The urge to breed, to make a family of her own, grows. She lets the world know hoping to attract a mate. But to attract a king, she must get stronger. You must eat, princess. But she's in a strange new land with even stranger prey. hunting outside her familiar forest. Matsidi means survivor. Movement. A second chance to kill and boost your strength. She knows she must be silent. Surprise her prey and not be surprised herself. Never wake a sleeping lion. What 
are you thinking, Matsidi? Has the sun cooked your brains, princess? There's nothing for you here. Nothing but death. <coughs> Young Kutlo is finally a soldier. The newest recruit in the hyena army. And he hates every second of it. His greedy superiors still show no mercy to the low-ranking runt. Every meal a battleground. Whenever he dares to go in for a bite, risks being bitten himself. cares for Kutlo here. Hungry and humiliated, he takes the only road left and deserts. Hoping to make it on his own. kind of liberation about hunting alone. But it doesn't put food in your belly. Frustrated, he changes targets. If only I could fly. Success is always just out of reach. He can't hunt alone. And he knows what the army does to deserters. Slowly, an idea forms. If the army won't share the spoils, he will have to steal them. You're a hyena after all, Kutlo. Wame's pups are taking well to life on the road. But 
But a leader's life is never easy. The drought is unrelenting. She must lead the pack to water. Before thirst takes its deadly toll. their trust, memory directs her to a waterhole. But the drought has drunk it dry. Success and failure, both follow the leader. Your pack and your beloved cubs need water, Wame. But bad luck isn't done with you yet. scouts. Instead of avoiding danger, Wame leads her family straight into it. Wame stumbles into hell. The dogs do their best to keep the hyena at bay. At all costs, they will protect their pups. Finally, they exhaust the enemy. But Wame senses her leadership is slipping. First the dry water hole, then the hyena. She knows punishment is on its way. Savage and unforgiving. Defeated. She still has the love of her pups. But lost the pack's respect. The only way she can earn it back is to find them water soon. Mm -hmm. 
Sebi's cubs are six weeks old, and already a handful. But Sebi has patience born of experience. Their first time father is less tolerant. The cubs crave milk. To produce it, Sebi needs meat. And meat means hunting. him in charge of her cherished cubs. Once again, Sebe struggles alone. How will you feed your family, Sebe? Back at the den, food is the least of her worries. Where is the father of her cubs? Where are her babies? And why is there another huge male in their place? A monster at the den. It's the cub's uncle, armed and dangerous. Sebe doesn't know if her babies are alive or dead. What have you done? Where are they? The father at last. Furious at his brother's intrusion. Uncle cuts his losses. But where are Sebi's cubs? They are unharmed. But how could their father leave them unprotected? Sebe won't let it happen again. It's time to leave her careless king and go in search of the only one she can depend on, her sister. as drought desiccates the forest. Kutlo 
the budding outlaw watches the army feast. He's not alone. The jackals serve as a useful distraction. giving Kutlo the cover he needs to start his life of crime. So proud of his cleverness, but the jackals are clever too. tries to protect his prize. But they're too quick for him. The commotion attracts the commanders. Kutlo can only watch as his dinner vanishes before his eyes. It's not working out quite as he planned. But you won't give up, will you? Even thieving takes practice, Kutlo. But Sidi must build her strength to attract a mate. But even the prey here is not what she's used to. the feast of her dreams. But food nonetheless. She searches for a bigger meal, but catches the scent of something far more intoxicating, a male leopard, somewhere in the area. Could it be her king? Or could it be her killer? The desire to breed blinds Motsidi. She knows a male leopard might attack her as soon as mate with her. She approach. Motsidi 
is drawn to the flame. He can tell she's no queen and spurns her advances. She's unharmed, yet unmated. Oh, princess, only the strongest are fit for a king. Wame leads her thirsty pack, determined to find them water and regain their waning respect. With local water holes dry, she aims for the distant northern floodplains. If she fails, it won't just be the end of her leadership. It could spell the end of the entire pack. Traveling so far when they're already exhausted is a huge gamble. But they should never have doubted her. claims her crown. <laughs> Sebe is on a mission to find her sister. Without her help, Sebe will struggle to keep her cubs alive and may never rule again. It's a hazardous journey for the tiny youngsters. Giants loom. The mercury bubbles. and danger lurks in every shadow. They must stay close. At last, a familiar scent on the breeze. Sebe's calls go unanswered, leaving a single terrifying question. Is your sister still alive?
filled with dread, Sebe fears the worst for her sister. But a tantalizing scent lures Sebe on. The cubs battle exhaustion. As their little legs struggle to keep up. All she's been hoping to hear. Her beloved sister. Safe and sound. Sisters, one family, reunited at last, stronger together, and ready to build an empire. Hyena army searches for another free lunch. And see the dogs have struck gold. Kutlo, the aspiring outlaw, stays back. He's not here to steal from the dogs. Easier to steal from those who reject him. It takes a thief to know a thief. The army does the heavy lifting. While Kutlo seizes his chance. It may not be much. But once it was theirs, and now it's his. Success so small, yet bursting with potential. After all this time, Kutlo, you may be on to something. 
From Kutlo the Runt to Kutlo the Soldier to Kutlo the Bold Outlaw. Matsidi yearns for a family. To start a royal dynasty in this new land. To crown your king, Matsidi, you must first grow strong. A feast fit for a queen. The table is now set. Roaming her new realm, her strength is clear for all to see. This time, he comes to her. Nothing attracts like power. Sidi lost everything. But now the seed of dynasty grows within her. Motsidi, the queen, can at last claim her kingdom.